The Dog's Best Friend Game from Westpaw is a new game for the whole family that finally includes the dog. It's recommended for ages eight and up, designed for one to eight humans, one to two dogs, and takes about 25 minutes to play. The game comes with instructions, a 60 second timer, a non-slip dog mat, eight cups, a squeaky bone toy, a squeaky dice toy, and 72 mini game cards. To begin, choose a safe, non-slippery, and spacious area where you and your dog can play. Split humans into two teams. Dogs are on everyone's team. If you have just one dog, the dog plays mini games on both teams. If you have multiple dogs, each dog can be on a separate team or just play with the dog that's interested at the time. There's also a solo human option. Play each mini game with the same dog and try to beat your best. If there are two dogs, play each round with each dog as if they're on different teams. The team with the youngest human starts. Starting a round. Teams take turns starting each round. When it's your team's turn, have one person draw a mini game card and read it out loud. Be sure to have a new team member draw a card each time. Some mini games are solo play, some are head to head challenges, and some involve everyone. If a mini game seems too hard for you and your dog, or is inconvenient for your play space, feel free to pass on that card, or modify the mini game in a way that works for everyone. Each card shows the amount of victory points, the level of difficulty, the components needed, and how to play each mini game. The bottom of the card tells you who plays and how to win. There are even some blank cards for you to write your own mini games. Scoring points. The player that wins the mini game keeps the card for their team. In case of a tie, set the card aside and the winner of the next round claims it. Players not participating in a mini game must stay quiet and still. No interference. After eight rounds, add up the victory points from the mini game cards. The team with the most points wins. Be very conscious of how your dogs are feeling. If they get tired or stressed, pause the game and come back to it at another time. Or stop the game and add up your points. When the game is over, be sure to collect all the items and place them back in the box. Supervise all dog-human interactions, particularly with children. Teach proper dog handling to kids. Kids under 12 must have adult supervision when playing the game. Train and practice. Use the training tip cards to help teach your dog common commands and tricks as you play. Be mindful of your dog's fitness, age, and health when choosing mini games. Adapt or skip activities that may be too demanding. Watch for stress signs and adjust the game accordingly. Never force your dog to participate. Make sure all participants know and are comfortable with the dogs, and vice versa. Use positive reinforcement. Reward your dog with praise, treats, or affection for their success. If your dog is hesitant, try a different activity or give them a break. Be cautious of resource guarding. If your dog guards toys or treats, stop playing and consult a behavioralist. That's it. Ready, set, sit, stay, play.